Welcome back. We're gonna try this again. I might be a little more new people friendly with this one and actually maybe read some of the text. So if you're already quite familiar with this game, I apologize. But that's what I'm gonna do. So let's set things up. And decide where we're gonna start jumping. Your senses have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system, no doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. We're going to hail them. And a pirate ship jumps in as we do. It was bait. Oh my god. So they've hacked our med bay, but that shouldn't be a problem because I don't plan to use it this fight. And they have no systemless rooms, so that's going to limit the effectiveness of our hull missiles. But it's going to make our Artemis missiles effectively better because they charge up much faster than the whole missiles. Whiff! I think that Artemis missile is still going to charge up faster than the whole missile. Incidentally, what happens if they hack your med bay? Anyone inside of it will take damage while it's being hacked instead of being healed. So we defeated the pirates, now we can contact the refugees that they were using as bait. And they gave us some crap. Good times. Hmm, and we have a distress beacon up here, so let's go check it out. They want some fuel. Oh well, I'll give it to them. Because it, there's usually some kind of reward for it. And it is a nice reward. Got ourselves a chambers laser. This it fires twice per shot, and the more times it fires without going offline, the faster it gets every time. So this little recharge bar gets shorter and shorter. Civilians are under attack from pirates. Pirates? Cer Cerberians are under attack from burlarts. We will help them. Uh oh. You know, this might be a nice time to power on that chain laser. We'll just point it at something arbitrary. Maybe even fire a missile to help weaken their shields quicker. These guys, the Zoltan ships, they've got this green shield that nothing can squeeze through. Not missiles, not teleporters. You've got to take it down before you can do anything meaningful to their ship. I'll uh, let that shoot one more time, then take out the shields with a missile. And ion weapons and beam weapons do extra damage to those Zoltan shields. But their shields are down. We can go to town. Okay, yes. I was about to say, it might be a bad idea to take Lysandra. Didn't I have a Lysandra before? I had some L name. That was a female name. Anyway, I was going to say it might be a bad idea to take her off of engines, lowering our evade, when they still have a missile launcher. But that took it out, so shields are more important at the moment. Once again, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. And... She got stunned. And I'd normally switch that to another system. But they're dead. So, Davian can go ahead and help with that. Let's see what these civilians have to say. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. They just gave us one of the best guns there is. <laughs> I'm gonna start recording everything. I have much better luck this way. Alright, so I just mentioned that chain laser. It 
takes less time to recharge every time it fires. As it says, after three volleys, it only takes seven seconds to charge, whereas it starts at 16. The Vulcan is the most extreme example of that. Its first shot takes 11.4 seconds to charge, but once it gets up to its sort of full speed, it only takes 1.1 seconds to charge. It can actually hit someone's shields, disrupt them, and then fire the next shot before they recharge. So it can single-handedly punch through shields. That is going to be very, very nice. In fact, we could get that running right now. We have the technology. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to do shields first, because our other weapons are none too shabby at the moment, so it's not... It's not going to be that hard to get through things. And get through things we shall continue doing on our next jump. We have intruders on board. Alright. You arrive in the nebula and immediately receive a message from an unknown source. Prepare to be boarded. That's a silly thing to tell someone to do. Wouldn't you want them to not be prepared when you board them? Because instead I'm going to pause like I just did and then start vending systems. Oh, except my guys are walking around. Well, vent systems anyway. Good job. We prepared to be boarded. Your plan was dumb. Oh my gosh, look at them. <laughs> Some guy just chilling over here. There's nothing in there. It's just a murder waiting room. I should probably turn on my med bay. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Hi! And you're dead too. Good times. Well, I don't know if I have oxygen yet. Nope! Oh! Let's pretend I didn't just push the wrong button and jump to when things are hunky dory. <laughs> A mantis ship lost in the storm has you. Sensors are out. We have no local telemetry. We will take yours. Oh, that's mean. Mm. I will take down their shields first. And then our chain laser will make short work of most everything else. Or missing is fine too. Well, the chain laser might do the trick anyway. Yeah. So we will save our missiles for now. We're not going to need them much longer because eventually we'll be getting that Vulcan cannon online. Hmm. They're repairing that rather quickly, but our weapon is going to start firing more and more quickly. So it should not be a problem. Oops, well. Since our helm is out anyway. Yeah, thanks, guy. Might as well send our engineer to fix the oxygen. And one more shot and these guys are dead. Bing bong. And then we can go heal our captain up. And I will skip that once again. And set an open course. For the Virgin Sea. What do we have here? An automated rebel scout. And he's going to try and jump away. We can we can prevent him from doing that by damaging the helm or the engines. But I'm going to shoot for the shields first. To open up our chain laser tear apart his helm. That's a bit of a problem. I'm going to send weapons, because those are the lowest priority to fix our shield. 
Hmm. I'm gonna send our engine guy too. Because every moment this shield is down, this beam drone is going to tear the snot out of our ship. In fact, I might even take that drone out before I try and take out their missiles. Oh. I'm a goofy guess. It's worth spinning a missile to prevent our ship falling apart. And down they go. Ooh, I hear fire somewhere. And our sensors don't work in the nebula. So I'm just going to vent everything. And hope the fire goes out. Then we'll repair some systems, heal up Lysandra. And off again will we go. Okay. We're ready to continue. Just noticed our hull is getting a bit low, but a pirate ship arrives shortly after us. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. We're going to attack him, and he might try to run. He hasn't started to yet, but... Go ahead and do the same thing as before. To get their shields with a missile, and then go ham with a chain laser. Or miss with a missile. That's what the miss stands for in missile. And let's hit that one more time, because they're probably going to repair it pretty quick. The misses go both way, fella. Oh, or it could be on fire and break itself. So these guys are going to go down pretty easy. Watch this missile destroy something crucial. Oh, of course. But still, these guys are not much of a threat at this point. Oh, and there they go trying to escape, but we just hit their, their piloting system. So they're going to have to wait. And this next shot should take care of things. Go ahead and heal someone up while we wait. And they had nothing. Except for scrap, which is still useful. Because we now have enough to upgrade our shields. Uh, it takes two bars of shields to actually upgrade to another shield barrier, which also means we need two more reactor power for that. And getting down to four scrap is not something you should normally do. You should keep some saved up, because you never know what you might run into in space. And what a surprise, we run into pirates, and they've hacked our engines, so we're going to have less evasion. They have a missile weapon, so that could be a problem. But we're gonna try this whole gimmick again. And maybe for the first time so far, it will work. Well, they knocked out our oxygen. But it didn't actually cause hull damage. This ship has an augment that has a 15% chance of resisting hull damage. I'm just going to set that chain laser to auto fire so I don't have to click so much. Because I think it's going to take it a while to get back through the shields again. I might have to fire another missile, in fact. Although it is up to its maximum speed, and now we have this one manning the station. <sighs> oh, that's probably going to hit our shields. And I should probably just go ahead and take their shields down. Ooh, and that should be them done. It 
See, it's a good thing we had the extra layer of shields, otherwise our shields being damaged would have meant that beam drone would have carved us up like the turkey we are. So we'll just repair our shields and be on our way. And there we go. Hmm. Well, we're pretty far ahead of the rebel fleet there, so I think we've got time for two distress calls. Alien spiders. No, thank you. That's kind of an infamous uh, distress call. Because quite often you'll send people to help and they just get killed by the spiders. Another civilian being chased by a pirate. Well, let's be some white knights. Um, I guess I'm not going to bother with missiles. Do I want to start with shields or weapons? I want... I want to knock out the weapons. In fact, you know, I'm going to start with weapons. At best, one shot is going to squeak through and do a little damage. That's going to be a problem. Where is it? No. I'm going to hold off on fixing that, because I think there's a single shot laser and it can't get through our remaining shield. But I th if I'm only going to squeak one shot through and do some damage... I might as well do a little of their weapons off the bat. Because I think they pri prioritize repairing weapons slightly lower than shields. Their shields I could squeak one damage through and see the shields are still up. So I haven't even given myself a clear shot at their weapons yet. Well, they already repaired their weapons, so... The possibility always exists that I have no idea what I'm doing. And I could always go ahead and miss a lot. You know, I have such a problem with missing most of the time. I wish I knew if there was some way to increase your accuracy, but to my knowledge, there's not. Because I am missing over and over, and that is usually the case. We'll get this guy eventually. This guy might get us eventually. Oh, oh. I was gonna say their shields are down, but they came back up. This guy might kill us before we hit him again. Um. We might have to jump for our lives. You know, I'm gonna switch to. Focusing on that, there's no point in trying with missiles, because he's got a defense drone. Okay, that at least hit him. I think we're just gonna focus on his weapons and one damage at a time, squeeze our way through. Okay. Well, some oxygen would be nice. And... Hmm. No, we're not going to have him branch off and pray that yet. Because one trick with these hull breaches, you can open doors to surrounding rooms to spread the oxygen around. But a hole this size is still going to drain oxygen faster than the oxygen system can replace it. And our oxygen system is not running, so I'm going to have to wait until our oxygen is online to fix that. We got some knickknacks from them, and some patty wacks from the civilians. And I'll be back once we're not about to explode. And there we go, good as new. Just ignore the flashing warning lights, and it's like nothing ever happened. Alright, some pirates are stuck between some rocks. We're going to just kill them and take their stuff because we're heroes and I think I could squeeze in one more jump before we hit the exit but I'm not positive in fact no I don't think we can and it's not worth the risk so here we are at the beacon someone wants to sell some fuel oh I'll take it got more missiles than we need anyway we're going to need a lot of fuel. 
Now I think either of these can kick off the quest we're shooting for here. But after the first part of the quest we need something that's only in another green sector. This gives us the option of two. And then we'll have to be followed up by a very specific red one, which that probably won't be. <laughs> We can grass our fingers. So here we are in Zoltan territory. Let's start piddling around. Actually, I think it is a distress beacon we are looking for. Yes, it is. We'll have to take on an automated drone first. Nobody had anything. And their weapons are fairly nullified. Uh, automated drones, they do repair their systems, but at 50% normal repair speed. So it's as if a mantis were trying to repair them. Well, we missed a bunch, but we still damaged them, so. This should deal 2 damage. Yep, they can't dodge now. And the next shot should be it. And now we can go check out that distress beacon. It's a decent amount of scrap. Oh, yes, it was a decent amount of scrap. I kind of forgot what I'm doing here. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's fine. In fact, do we have... 30, 40. No. Might upgrade our engines. I'm gonna get six more scrap, just to increase our evade, and to increase the speed our FTL charges up during a fight. Because sometimes you just gotta run away, you know? And we got a mantis. And we should be able to try this out. Hmm. I should disable their shields first. Er, no. I'd like to disable their shields first. But I have to disable their weapons first. Because dollars to donuts, this missile is going to destroy our ship before I can show off how awesome this Vulcan laser is. Gee, Oh, yep. Alright. So we're doomed. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's try to get the missiles as quick as we can. Let's do some extra damage just for... Just for funsies. That only did one damage to us, though, so even if they hit us one more time, we should survive it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Might as well let that whole missile fire. Everything's cool. No problems here. Well, now they're trying to run away, so... Guess we're going to have to try and shoot. Their piloting system. Don't mind that fire. It's a feature of the ship, not a flaw. Everything is fine. And they're going to get away. <laughs> that was a terrible failure. <laughs> but we lived! Kinda. So here's hoping we don't die on the next jump. Spoiler alert. We're probably going to die on this jump. Well, we've got a pirate. Er, no. That's not a pirate. It's a rock crew. And they're shooting at us for no apparent reason. But that's good. They have a single shot laser that can't get through our shields. And a beam weapon that can't get through the shield that will be remaining after the laser fails to get through our shields. So we are sitting pretty for this fight. The next fight, we will die. But for this fight, 
We are cool beans. So here we get to see the fun of the Vulcan. First shot, not so impressive. Then here comes the next one. And look how short that charge bar is getting. It's shooting much more quickly now. And now that we're at plus five, it's maximum. These guys are... They resisted a lot of that. These guys are a doo-doo creek. They were told aliens were a threat to their ways, and we've proved as much. And they're offering us a bribe to leave them in peace. Nope. Cause I like money. And... Oh good, instead of missiles we got fuel. That's... As good a trade as I could hope for. Is there a store nearby? No. Let's get a little bit of dodge. 25% of aid. Surely that will save us. We're doomed. <laughs> Alright. 50% reactor power. A rebel is waiting for us in a plasma storm. They have a laser which... I can't tell if that's the one that shoots three shots? In which case we're screwed. Or the one that shoots... Five shots. In which case we're screwed. But we're going to need to shoot something at them. Well, let's forego oxygen for a minute. <laughs> we'll hold our breath. It'll be cool. Trust me. Keep as much evade and as much shielding as we can. Actually, it might be worth dumping all our evade to get twice as much shielding. That thing shoots at least three times, though. So even with two shield layers, with no evade, we'd die. So this might be what we're stuck with. Oh, unless... I go with... What's about to fire, anyway? But I could take this off, use the Artemis instead, give myself one more f reactor power, so I can have two layers of shield and 15% evade. It's too late to decide, though, because it's shooting right now. Yep, that's what I should have done. So, uh... Let's pretend I did that different. I'll see you next time.